Hi, this is Tom Matson, and this is going to be a short, extended overview of the Teleprompter Pro Options page. This tutorial picks up where the general overview left off. And in subsequent tutorials, we'll talk about the color settings, the various font-related settings, and use of shortcodes in more detail. In the general overview, we introduced the import text file option. In this extended overview, we're going to show you hands-on how that option works. Now, the first thing that we will do is select a text file. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one from my computer, and I want you to notice how it immediately populates the import text display box. Now, at this point, we have a number of options that we can use. In fact, we can even import more than one text file if we need to. Now, all we need to do is to copy the text we just imported into the import text display box and then paste it into one or more of the 10 other text boxes below. Now, I'm going to do that now. And one thing I want to point out about that is that copying that text into one of the other text boxes has two functions, two separate functions. One, we can either use the text box as a holding container, and what we do there, how we do that, is by not selecting and applying any of the seven element options for that text box. Or, we can use it to display an extended scripted message. In other words, if we choose to display the content from one of those text boxes in any of the other text, uh, 10 text boxes, that is, then we need to select which element should be applied to the respective text in that box. Now, we have the choice of using any of the six headline styles, or we can select the P element, which displays the content in paragraph or general body content style. Any of the 10 text boxes you apply the P element to can display multiple paragraphs of content, can display block quotes or ordered lists or unordered lists, and even images in, in an inline format. Now, before we discuss any other options, let's take a quick look at how the imported text is going to look on the teleprompter using only the default settings. Now, what we'll do is we'll click the Let's Do It button at the bottom of the Options page to get the teleprompter started. As you can see, there are no headlines, there's no bolded words, there are no emphasized words, there's no spans, or, nor there are any speaker-specific content, and there's no additional formatting to this text other than the basic default settings. Now, I'll show you in a minute how the teleprompter delay affects the start of the teleprompter, and I'll also show you how fast the teleprompter scripts can be run. But for now, Let's jump back to the Options page. Now, let's go ahead and import another text file. So we can add some short codes. Or, like with this text file that we're importing now, the short cards, short codes, excuse me, were already added before importing it in. Now, if you see how this could be helpful or a time saver, you can do this too. It's easy enough to do. So whether or not you apply the shortcodes to the text file before you import it, or if you apply them afterwards, you can use any of the shortcodes listed below the import text display box. And in addition to adding shortcodes, we can change one or more of the settings in the four columns of options at the top of the options page. And we can also add more text into the 10 other text boxes below the import text display box. Of course, uh, we can also just simply click the Let's Do It button at the bottom of the Options page and get the teleprompter started. What we're going to do here is we're going to increase the paragraph and body font sizes, and then we're going to increase the teleprompter speed and add a delay to the start of the teleprompter. Now, now we've made a few changes. So after we've made a few configuration changes, 
let's make sure that we have the correct elements applied and hit the let's do it button one more time but before we hit the let's do it button let's go ahead and copy and paste in some headlines into the text boxes below. Let's do that. I think that'd be a good idea. So we can see how those will display too. And as we wait for the delay, notice how the short codes have added some extra formatted text. Now you can see style the, the first few words using the, the bold short code and followed by a portion of the message being emphasized from using the EM short code. And you'll also see a message that's formatted for the second speaker. And that's followed by another message, which is formatted for the third speaker. And then more formatted text for the fourth speaker. And you'll notice a span of words styled with that uh, default green colored background for spans. In the next paragraph, you will see there is an image that we have inserted in line with the text using the IMG shortcut. The IMG is short for image. And next you'll notice that there are some numbered bullet points, which are displayed by using the numList shortcut and then we nested each bullet point item using the list shortcut. And if you drop down just a little bit as you go down in the teleprompter here, you'll notice a little below the numbered bullet points, you'll see a regular list of bullet points without numbers. This was formatted the same way as the other bullet points, except we wrapped the bullet points with the list shortcut instead of the num list shortcut. Same basic uh, premise as the numlist, just a different wrapper. Now the only other two things that I really wanted to cover in this extended overview was to show you how the front end of the teleprompter is responsive to your device or monitor screen size and also show you what the defaults look like for the six different headline styles. Now you can see how the teleprompter scales up or down with your screen the same as it did on the options page. So it's it's responsive front end and back end. And as you look at the headline styles, you'll notice that they're somewhat self-explanatory. You have the, uh, an H1, an H2, an H3, you have an H4, an H5, and an H6 elements applied to six short headlines prefixed Latin excerpts. And that's all there is for this extended overview. It went a little longer than I had hoped. However, watching the general overview and this extended overview should provide you with a basic understanding of how to set up and use Teleprompter Pro. So go ahead and start using it now. If you have support questions, let us know.